Okay, I am here with Nate, who took a quick break from training. You have a dog that is going through what kind of training here? Uh, my dog Bailey is a cute little cocker spaniel and he's going through bed bug training uh, to become trained to be able to go into houses or hotels or restaurants and discover the scent of a bed bug which will indicate the presence of a bed bug. It's quite unusual to have a little cocker spaniel in training for bed bug detection, right? Right. And he's in training with a bunch of bigger dogs like German Shepherds and Labs and whatnot. He actually happens to be my own personal dog, which I brought to Falco to see if he was qualified to be in the program and brought him here to have him tested. He passed about eight or nine tests. He's been here for about seven weeks. And now this week, all the handlers of the dogs are uh, being trained with the dogs. The people who are in the program with me right now saw their dogs for the first time on Monday. Hmm. So now they're getting to know their dogs. Uh, their dogs have been trained for seven or eight weeks or a couple of months. It's going through different skills, go through a set of pails where some bed bugs are planted inside a plastic jar and the dogs go along the different panels. It makes me itch their, just thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, he's having, we're having a good time doing it. Now did you, because he started off as a pet, and how old is he? He's two and a half. He's two and a half. So for a good two and a half years, you've treated him as a part of the family. Have you, when you bring Bailey home, is there a difference in the way that you need to treat him? Do you now have to treat him like a bed bug detector dog um, that's like a, like a search and rescue narcotic dog? Like, is there a difference in the way that you treat them? It's what I do to lead him and to stimulate him. Uh, to get him ready to go into a bed bug search. Mm -hmm. Does he sleep with you in the bed at night? I don't know if I should mention that, <laughs> but he does take up about three quarters of the bed. I try to push him over on my wife's side. Would Andy be upset hearing that? Is I don't he? Think you should tell Andy about this. Yeah. Now it turns out that all of the bed bug dogs are driven by rewards of uh, a toy. So Bailey's favorite toy is a lacrosse ball. So uh, what, what Andy did, as I understand, is, is he shaved off part of the lacrosse ball and put them with the, the bed bugs. Oh, wow. So Bailey would, you know, Bailey would have this in his mouth, he'd smell it, he'd think it'd all be great, and you know, then he'd go off and he'd start smelling for bed bugs and he'd smell the ball, the shavings of the ball, and he says, oh, that's my ball, there's my ball. And so then he'd do what he's supposed to do when he detects the odor of a bed bug as he just sits down. And right? that's his signal. That's his signal and then I give him back the ball. Bailey was destined to do b bigger things then. Bigger bed bug things, yes. Bigger exactly. bed <laughs> yeah, you took a good boy. He's gonna pass with flying colors, I know it. Good boy, now go get your ball. Go get your ball. Wait, wait, wait.